Hey you guys, welcome back to my table three. If you're new here, my name is Carrie, and I'm very happy to have you here in my kitchen. Today I am going to show you one of my easy crock pot recipes for October. All this month here in October, I'm gonna show you crock pot or Instapot recipes. So look out for those videos at least once a week, possibly two if I get some extra time with everything. But today I thought I would show you an easy black bean soup. This is basically a dump and go soup. You do have to chop a few things, but you can even use um, some options that for convenience that would help you with that. And I'll give you those um, substitutes as we go by. Now, a little bit of business before we go. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can follow around with my kitchen shenanigans. Also, look for me over on Instagram where I share more about recipes and things daily. I'd love to connect with you over there. But right now, we're going to focus on really super easy black bean soup. Um, it does not have any meat, no dairy, so it could be vegan. Um, if you use broth like I'm doing today, you could use vegetable broth. Uh, but if you don't need it vegan or dairy-free, you could always put in um, like chicken into it or ground beef. Even some sausage, probably some kielbasa sausage cut up at the end would be delicious. But today I'm going to do a vegetarian slash vegan option because I'm not going to put any meat and I'm going to use vegetable broth. So let me pan you down and I'll show you what, actually I won't, I'll tell you what I'm going to add now. So I do have one box, this is 32 ounces, which is about four cups of vegetable broth. Remember you can use any kind of broth that you'd like. Main star black beans, I am using two quart jars of my black beans that I have canned previously. If you want to use store bought, just get you probably... I would say probably four to five cans, depending on how how many mouths you're feeding. I'm gonna use one can of this diced fire roasted tomatoes, because I don't have any diced tomatoes that I've canned. Um, I have an extra can just in case, but we'll see what it looks like. You also need onions, carrots, and celery. So I we don't like a lot of chunky, um, Carrot's not our favorite, but we like the flavor that it puts in the soup. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'm gonna use my canned carrots and these, as they cook over the next few hours, they'll break up into smaller pieces, which is what we like. Also, I chopped up three stalks of celery and a um, medium onion in here and my little chopper, which is super duper handy. And then you're gonna need your seasonings, which is, in this one I have one teaspoon of salt one, uh, one and a half teaspoons of garlic, one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. Over here you have your spices that kind of make it Southwest chili-like. There is one, uh, two, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, and I put a teaspoon of tahine, which is like a um, chili lime seasoning. You can totally leave that out. I just like a little bit of mystery taste that it gives to it. Um, so yeah, that is it. Very basic, everything you can buy for, um, frozen. And like, um, like if you don't want to chop your celery and onions, you can buy that soup mix that comes in the frozen section. I think it's called, uh, I think it's actually called soup mix, but it basically it's going to have onions, bell peppers, and um, celery. So that would work amazingly well in this soup. And you can use canned black beans, chicken broth, or a vegetable broth from the store. Of course, canned carrots, any of that that you wanna to make to make your life easier, to make it more convenient, that is totally fine. Cause basically, you're just gonna be cooking the vegetables a little bit if you don't buy frozen and heating everything through. So it's really easy, really simple. I'll pan you down and show you now how I dump it in my crock pot. Okay, like I said, it's basically dump and go. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna dump in the three stalks of celery and the one onion that I chopped. Remember, you can use frozen here if you'd like to, or you can leave it out. Just, you know, the great thing about crock pots and soups is they are so versatile that you can adapt it to whatever you and your family like. I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the carrots. These are already, I um, pressure can these carrots. I wanna say about two years ago. That's how little we use carrots, but I got a great deal on mini carrots, so I wanted to use them. All right, so then I'm gonna do my quart jar of black beans. I'm gonna do juice and all. You can drain it and just add more broth if you like, but I like the flavor that the black bean juice brings to the soup. It also helps thicken the soup a little bit. All right, so that's two quarts of green, uh, green beans, right? They look green, right? No, that's two quarts of black beans that are cooked. Again, you can get four or five canned beans from the store that will work just fine. 
And if you want to use frozen diced carrots, you can, or you can dice raw. Just make sure they're really cut up fine like the onions and celery are when you put them in there. I'll just kind of break my carrots up as I stir it over the next four hours. Okay, can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Now we're gonna put in our seasonings, which this is the salt, garlic powder, onion powder. I will have this recipe written down below for you um, or a link to the recipe on my blog post. All right, this is the cumin, the chili powder, and the tahini. All right, I'm just gonna stir it up. You guys, this is the simplest soup and it is so good. It's a great meatless chili-like recipe if you need, if you have guests coming that are vegan or vegetarian, that way you can have meat on the side and add it. Like I said, that um, smoked kielbasa would be good cut up in it. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is the vegetable stock, about four cups. Actually, I'm gonna stir this a little bit and see. You can use as much broth as you like or as little, depending on how soupy you like it. Okay. See how easy that's coming together? Looks super good. Like I said, my carrots are big and chunky, but they'll cook down because I'm gonna cook this on high for four hours and then I'll break them up as I stir them. Go ahead and add that whole four cups of broth. And that is it. I am going to now just keep stirring this and then, whoops, um, put it on high in this crock pot and put it for four hours. If you did not want to do it for high for four hours, you could definitely put this on low for six to eight hours and leave it until you're ready to eat. Um, and when you can ready to eat, you can also taste this for seasoning and adjust as you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on high, put the lid on it, put it on high for four hours and we'll come back later about time we get ready to eat and I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a little bit. All right, you guys, so I actually am just coming back to show you what the finished soup come look like. I underestimated um, how long it was going to be cooking. I had put it on four hours high, but I ended up actually cooking it at six hours on high, and it's actually perfect. You can see how most of the carrots have broke up some, and I can go through here and um, break them up if I wanted to, but this is perfectly fine. Remember, you can cut them smaller or use frozen diced carrots or even canned carrots. So there it's going. I'm going to turn you around and talk to you a little bit about how I serve this soup. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I make that quick and um, delicious uh, crock pot black bean soup. Um, I didn't get a chance to come back that same day. It's been a few days since then to close out and tell you how I serve it because things happen. But I was going to let you know a lot of a good way to serve this soup. <clears throat> you can top it with some of your favorite toppings like corn chips or low carb uh, tortillas. You can dip in them. You could use sourdough bread. <clears throat> we like to top ours with a little bit of sour cream on some days, maybe a sprinkle of cheese, depending on how um, your family likes to eat your soups like that because it is kind of like a chili. So anything that would go with chili would work well with this meatless black bean soup. And don't forget, you can always add meat to it. Um, definitely would add some bulk to it and some extra protein, but we like meals like this because there are some days that we go meatless and do not eat meat. So this is a good protein packed lunch that we have on those days. It's also very frugal. With inflation today, you do need to find ways to save money if you're anything like us and beans are the way to do that. So a lot of times you'll see in grocery stores, if you buy beans often, the canned beans have went up in price and they are more expensive than the dry form. So my tip of the day to save money and be even more frugal is to keep a pantry stocked well with dry beans, maybe red kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, chickpeas, whatever kind of bean that your family likes, you can make this soup with it, right? So it's very adaptable, very affordable to go with dry beans. Just make sure you soak them overnight and then, or at least eight hours, soak them really well and then put them in. Then if you use the dry beans in this soup, you could use about a pound of those to make a big batch and you need to cook them on high for probably about eight hours to get them fully cooked, six to eight hours. You can test as you go, but um, it's been a long time since I used dry beans in this soup because I usually use my can, but probably about eight hours on high. So, um, six to eight hours, maybe six to eight hours on low, but you know, you get that. Uh, I'll do some research and put the, when I put the recipe below, I will put how long you should cook it if you use dry beans that have been soaked. That way there won't be any, um, confusion. Like I said, I'm used to using my canned black beans. So, 
that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoy this first crock pot a meal for Croctober for me. Be on the lookout later this week as well for my pumpkin palooza uh, recipe that I'm putting out for Digging with Health. She's hosting an open collaboration called Pumpkin Palooza or 2022 Pumpkin Palooza. And I'm going to put out a yummy recipe that's a family favorite for that. So take um, probably about, what's today? Today is first of the week. So probably towards the end of the week. So keep an eye out. Give me a thumbs up if you like these easy frugal crock pot meal ideas. And I'll see you guys next time in my kitchen.